Hi, I'm Ron with Pacific Permaculture. I want you to see right now I have some tomato plants that are blooming. Here it is December 29th. We've had several rains. We haven't had any frost, obviously, because that would have killed them. Take a look what I got. In the Bay Area, don't ask me what climate zone I'm in. But we're in Oakland. We're pretty close to the big wide expanse of Bay. So look, we got some blooms. Now it looks like they've closed up a little bit. I don't know if the timing is right because of pollination. I don't know if they'll pollinate very well, but for me at least it's an example that tomato plants will grow all year as long as they don't catch a frost. And uh, we'll see if I get any tomatoes out of this. But at least I'm trying to keep the tomato plant growing until the spring and summer when I can get some more fruits off it. Tomato I believe is from Peru and they're a perennial in their native land. We've had uh, temps low in about the uh, high 40s to the low 50s around here so now it's late in the day it's about 3 p.m. 60 some degrees around 70 not bad but we haven't got any frost I will go ahead and shake these plants in case there's any pollen hopefully it helps pollinate them I've heard of people that beat their tomato plant with a broom to make it pollinate with the theory that no bees or anything pollinate it but I've seen bees on these you know when it's warm out when it's spring and summer etc but maybe that thing is shaking them couldn't hurt shake the plant around a little bit maybe it'll pollinate maybe I'll get some tomatoes in who knows March that's the only plant that I see blooming this one over yonder Cherokee purple I don't see blooming it wasn't the most flavorful tomato anyway to tell you the truth what I got off it but I'd like to try it once again maybe it needs to be older of a plant for it to have a flavorful tomato and this one that is blooming seems to be my Berkeley tie-dye plant which is some kind of a cross-pollination of a couple heirlooms and my Japanese tree fell doesn't look like it's blooming so we'll see sometimes when you're dealing with permaculture you just experiment with your horticulture aspects and see how things go whatever I learn I can teach somebody else later on I have been thinking lately of putting some greenhouse plastic around the edge of the tomato cage to try to protect the plants from any possible frost I believe that in January and February we get our coldest times so I'd like to try to hold on to the plant and then see just what it turns out.